on now. Good day, ladies, gentlemen, and everybody in between. This is Toad Link here with uh, Dongaropa stream. Actually, number 11? No, I don't think so. Number 12. Whoops. Oops. I typed the st title, stream title wrong. And number 12. And yes, um, if you can tell, uh, I don't know, if there's like a difference in audio quality or something like that, that just means I. Yeah, that's because I have a new microphone. Uh, so yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I, I talked about it all on like the pre like pre stream like pre recording stream part. So if you want to know what happened there, just check that out. Anyway, let's get started with the game. Last we left off, it was free time events, and we're gonna go finish off Maki real quick. Uh, where is she? Uh, I'm not seeing her anywhere. Gonta's in there. Ah, oh, Maki's in her. Her room, okay, cool. Nice. <laughs> you can yep. you can finish off two two social links now. Run. There we go. Ultimate Assassin's Lab. Nice. And like it's tradition. Get all these briefcases out here. You don't need them, right? You're not planning on killing anybody, aren't you? Anytime soon, right, Maki? I can't, I can't seem to hit those. Anyway, then. Hey, Maki, how's it going? By the way. I wonder what Mew was talking about. She talked. She talked about a world without the without the <clears throat> without the killing game. But it seemed like she wasn't talking about going to the outside world. Should I hang hang out with Maki for a while? Yeah, sure. Well, it's coming from her, so I'm pretty sure it's just nonsense. <laughs> More than likely. But, who knows? Spend some time with Maki. Why can I grow a little closer? Yes. And in between uh, streams, I was able to get quite a bit more presents. And I think if I remember correctly, I think you kind of liked this one, didn't you? Hmm. Hmm. You must not worry a lot if you're giving presents in a situation like this. Well, it's not like I mind. I'll take it. Hmm. The closest friend you mentioned before. I'm sure she's she's thinking about you. Hmm. Maki? Nope. She's not here anymore. She died. Huh? Aw. What? Died? Well. After I finished training, I went to see her. She died in a car accident saving a child. Well, at least she died a hero's death, right? Uh, um... Oh no! <sighs> I was shocked. Why did I endure all that training then? But... That's right. She probably died happy, saving someone. And the memories of her I kept inside me have kept me alive till now. Even the... Even, even the whole orphanage. That's why I'll do everything I can to protect that place. Hmm. Aww. I see. <laughs> what is it? You look like you want to say something. Your face is gross, so spit it out already. Hey! Uh, I was thinking about what I can do. What, what I can do. What can I do for you, Maki? What? Huh? For me? Maki, you're a normal girl at heart. I want you to live a normal life. I'm... I was thinking that you could, you could leave be being an assassin behind. Um... Perhaps I could use my detective skills to investigate the, uh, the assassin cult? This is stupid. That's impossible. Uh, um... You sound awfully sure. Because... The world isn't as simple as you think. It needs assassins to do the dirty work. Who the hell do you think you are? Don't, don't you think you're being presumptuous? Uh, maybe, but... But... I still want to help. What is it? But... You think you you think so too? But you're gonna push, but you're gonna push that the responsibility on someone else. <sighs> it's just like Kaito. Is that guy rubbing off on you? You're right. I suppose that could be. Jeez. One Kaito is difficult, but two is too much. You say that, but I can see you smile. I can see your smile. Well. Suichi, just do your best as a, as a detective. 
Why don't you try to find solutions to problems where it won't have to lead to murder? Huh? W what? Because... The people I assassinate aren't killed for simple reasons. It happens because certain, certain complications occur. It can only be settled with murder. You can try to reduce the complications. Maki pouted su stubbornly and turned her head. And if that happens, I guess I'll have to quit being an assassin. Maybe. Aw, she's kind of smiling. No one else can do this. You're the only one who can do it, okay? Even with her head turned, I could see this, see a smile on her, on her lips. So this is how Maki shows her thanks. Of course, I realize the situation isn't that simple. What's the point? Well, you are Kaito's sidekick, so I shouldn't expect that much from you. But... That goes for you too, right? Aren't you his... Are you, aren't you kind of his psychic too? <laughs> oh, you just had to say that. Aw, look, that's a genuine smile. Aw, that's cute. Maki faced me, faced me with a sly grin. I grinned back. I didn't think it was possible, the two of us smiling together. But I know, it's because Maki and I share a special bond. And I swear on that bond, we will escape together. Aw, there it is. Financing, okay. And... Maki and I parted ways and I re returned to my room. Ta-da! Undergarments, yay! Now we have two of them. Collection is slowly growing, but not at the rate that people are dying. Whoops. Yikes. There's still some time left. Alright then. Uh, since Himiko just got had her new, f found her new, f gained her newfound vigor, I might want to hang out with her and to see how, to see how this change, how her, uh, how what has happened to her has has affected her. Do 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 do. Here you go. I know you're in here. Ta-da! There you are. But first! Ah! I can only hit that place. That's about it. Alright. Hey, Himiko. Hey, Suichi. Oh, Suichi. Good timing. Do you want to join me? Should I hang out with Himiko for a while? Yeah, sure. Hmm. Hmm. Good answer. In that case, we're going to help me maintain my magical implements. <laughs> Alright then. Spend some time with Himiko gathering materials for her magic tricks. Ah, I mean her... I mean her magic. <laughs> She's gonna keep keep pushing that, isn't she? Himiko and I grew a little bit closer to get, together. Yeah. Mm. What would she enjoy? I'm trying to think. Hmm. No, I don't think any of these. Um, maybe? Maybe she could give it to her dubs? Oh, you clearly know what's important for a mage. Hmm, as thanks, I'll show you some of my magic. Mm. Yeah. Hey! Himiko? Mm. Yeah. Um. Himiko! What? What? She looks annoyed. Her glare is telling me to go away. Uh, um. If you don't want to talk to me, you could have just turned- you could have turned me down. What a pain. I'm too lazy to say no. <laughs> Uh, supposedly, I guess we were supposed to like see this before her like little reformation, because she's kind of gone back to her lazy mm. ways. Ah, I see. I never met someone that's so thoroughly lazy. But that is strange. Um. Hey, Himiko, why did you decide to become a magician? Okay. I'm not a magician. I'm a mage. I can use real magic. Don't get it. Don't get it wrong. Yeah. Magic. It's real magic, okay? You get it, right? <laughs> uh, let's be on our good side. Uh, okay. Real magic, sure. 
feel like this combination will go nowhere if I disagree. It's magic. No, it's magic. How many times do I have to tell you? What was that? Huh? Huh? What? Mm -hmm. It's magic. Okay. Yes, that's right. I just said it was magic. Ah. Yeah, it's magic. You're, yeah, you're right. It's magic. It's magic. <laughs> she looks really happy. Hmm. Anyway, what were you talking about? Why am I a mage? Why are you asking about that? That's... Well, because... Isn't it strange that some such a lazy girl would go through, through so much work for a magic trick? Remember. It seems like magic requires a ton of work to prepare, so... Jeez. A typical amateur question. You don't need need annoying preparations for magic. <laughs> uh, I see. I'm, a mage. I'm talented, not relying on my talent would we'll go against my master's teachings. Hmm. Master? You have a master, Himiko? Yeah. yeah, did I not tell you? Okay. This is the first time I'm hearing it. So, there's an appre so there are apprentice magicians? Hmm. Hmm, that's right. My master was an amazing archmage. Wait! Hey, wait! You call me a magician again! I'm a mage! <laughs> well... Well, we're on a slow road... Slow road to friendship, it seems. Oh well. <laughs> I had to spend some time calming Himiko down, who had become quite pouty. I wonder what kind of person Himiko's master is. Maybe like mom or dad. Alright, I guess it's nighttime now... Yep, it is. So, more training! <laughs> All right. I hope that's not capturing on, on, the, on the mic, because now this mic is a little bit more sensitive. Oh, Monotaro, hello. This is an announcement! Uh, um, this is an official announcement from, uh, what is this place called again? Hmm? Uh huh, what time is it now? I forgot. Hey. Actually, I've been all alone. Uh, wait. Wait, did I do something wrong? Monotaro. Shit, I think... Okay, because like... Shit. Right... Hold on a second. Right! Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, so... If you're asking... I think you might... Some more astute viewers may have re realized it, but I think... I redid this entire day of free time events, so... Yeah, or maybe not, I don't know, because... Move. Yeah, actually, I think I did, because I lent, ended it off at, at night time. Okay, hello there. <laughs> the reason because of the, is because, like, I went back to to the Chapter 1 class trial and redid that so I can get some, some more mana coins for more, uh, for more, more gifts, so... And so, basically, I did that. And it, res and it reset me to when I clicked on the chapter four, chapter four free time. It put me what like at the beginning of it, but I did one whole day of it. Why well, I did in it the first day of it by just doing nothing, and then I forgot that I ended off at nighttime. All right, hey Gibo, how's it going? Suichi. Suichi, what's the matter? I recommend that you return to your room at night as nighttime and as the annou nighttime announcement had just played. Okay. Ah, yes. After I'm done, I'll head straight back. Yeah. Yes, please do. Another murder could occur if you're out at, at your, of your room at night. I guess. That's right. I don't want to think about the killing game starting up again. Kokichi said all those unsettling things earlier. That's right. Kaito may have si silenced him at the time, but I can't imagine Kokichi being easily swayed. But Kokichi's never serious. That was probably all his idea of a joke, right? Hmm. He may have been joking. He may have been serious, too. It's very difficult to determine the, the sincerity of his statements. Remember. I, I never have, any, have an, an, any idea what he's thinking. That That's what makes him dangerous. Yeah. Either way, we should not let our guard down. Now the murder could, should not occur as long as we stay vigilant. Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's do our best. That's nice, Kibo. Anybody else? Uh, Samugi? You got anything to say? Um... What are you doing, Samugi? Huh? Oh, Suichi. Nothing, really. The announcement played while I was going back to my room. Jeez. It would have been fine if they just told us the time. But why'd I have to make it, have it be so melodramatic? Hmm. 
I don't know, but it's definitely too much. That is not funny. I'm more con I'm more concerned about the moral implications. Are the Mono Cubs siblings? But then. Please stop. How could they have such an inappropriate relationship with each other? Ah, Kibo's blushing. No. Um, the Mono Cubs are bears, right? I don't know if human morals apply to them. Or actually, I guess they're robots, not bears. That's robophobic. So you're also a robophobe, Miss Sumugi. Hey now. <laughs> you were the one who brought it up, Kibo. Your, persecu your persecution complex is a bit over the top. He does have strong beliefs. <laughs> Alright. Let's head out to the courtyard and do our training then. Do 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 do. Hey, you two. Uh-oh. Kaido's not feeling so good, it seems. Hmm. Kaito? What's wrong? Why do you have do you have to go to the bathroom again? Nope. He's been like this because of what happened. What happened? What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? Nah. No, I'm fine. My stomach just hurts is all. Hey, for today's training instead of the exercise. Huh. How about the three of us just talk? Huh? Huh? Hmm? What? Talk? About what? Idiot. Stupid. No, nobody decides what they talk about before they start. Well, let's go find somewhere to sit. Kaido picked a random spot in the courtyard and we all sat down. Hmm. Aw. So what are we going to talk about? <laughs> didn't you just say we didn't have to decide that? Come on, man. That was just a joke. Uh, uh right. Then... Let's talk about Maki. <laughs> what about me? You know, okay. like general stuff about you. There's a lot of stuff we don't know. For example, what blood type do you like? <laughs> what blood type do I like? Don't you mean, what's my blood type? Hmm? Did I say something weird? Well, whatever. Kaito's trying way too hard. <laughs> Kaito, you're kind of bad at this. <laughs> Just get called out by Suichi. Then you ask something. What's your question for her, huh? Am I like a guinea pig to you guys? Well, I have been meaning to ask. When we first met, you said you were the ultimate child caregiver. Why was that? Suichi, that's way too direct. You can't just cut to the chase like that. <laughs> ah, really? Sorry. I don't think Maki's gonna mind, All though. Alright then, let's play it safe and ask her about her favorite spaceship. I grew up in an orphanage. Yes, we kind of know that through your free time events, but sure. Hmm? I don't know anything about my parents. They were gone before I can remember. Maki slowly began to tell us her story. Hmm. Ah. At the orphanage where I lived, the older kids had to take care of the younger ones. That one on the right looks kind of like a younger Samugi, but that, that that one makes sense. Because of that, I started looking after the younger ones. I see. So that wasn't a lie then. For some reason, kids like me, but I'm not particularly fond of taking care of them. Maybe that suits you better than being an assassin. Nope. It's not a matter of whether it suits me or not. I never had the right and right to choose from the start. Huh? You have the right to choose? <sighs> when I was around 10 years old, these strangers started visiting the orphanage. At first, they, le they seemed like normal, kind men. With smiles on their face, they watched children pl the kids play, but the men never approached them. Thinking back on it, I'm sure they were scoping out our talents. Huh? They were, sc they were scouting for assassins? That's why... And that's why you were picked? Okay. I didn't want to go, but I heard they would ch donate a huge sum of money if I did. I remember thinking that I had to go. But that was the beginning of hell. Oh. Ever since that day, I trained to become an assassin. I think I had some natural talent to begin with, but I worked incredibly hard as well. If I couldn't keep up as an assassin, the orphanage would no longer receive funding. And then, I wouldn't have a purpose in life anymore. Training was difficult. I vomited every day, and cried every night. Mm. But after vomiting and crying over and over again, my heart gradually became empty. 
Eventually, I got used to it. It was the same after my first job. For a while, I couldn't eat or sleep. But after doing this for such a long time, I felt numb. Makes sense. There were times I wondered why I had to kill these strangers. But I eventually stopped thinking about that. I adapted to the lifestyle of killing people, of stealing their lives, and of being a horrible person. Even to this day, I think the same thing after I finish a mission. What is it? What would I have been like if I stayed at the orphanage? Probably pretty, probably pretty normal if I had to guess. I still think about that all the time. Maki sighed deeply after bearing her soul. <sighs> That's all. It wasn't an interesting story to listen to, was it? Uh, okay. Interesting. No, Maki. That was. The burden you've been carrying all this. Ah. Jeez, you're carrying too many burdens for someone so small. <laughs> you know. Well, I could say the same for Sui. Same to Suichi. Uh, um. Really? Listen up. Don't try to shoulder everything on your own. You gotta trust other people. Once you're able to share your burdens with your friends, then you'll be stronger. <laughs> well, if Makiwo was able to talk this much, it means she's got, gotten a bit stronger already. <laughs> That's true. It might be thanks to the training. Got it. Well, obviously. My training is based on a s systematic method. Yeah, right. Uh, um... That's kind of vague. We spent a long time. We spent a long while talking about whatever came to our minds. Most of it was meaningless conversation, but it might have been the first time I was able to was able to actually have fun and forget this place. To protect my friends. Like like all of them. All smiling and happy. I need to reveal the truth of this academy. I need to face the truth and reveal it to the world. I I have to. Keep my friends alive. Uh oh. Hi, hello. His white halves went. His white halves winter than. Fr uh, oh, his white halves whiter than freshly made rice. His black halves blacker than the darkest night. Call for me. It's mono, 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 kuma. <laughs> You actually came! Hmm. So I guess I'm allowed to do this, huh? <laughs> oh shit, what the balls? Is it really okay for me to talk to you in private like this? Yeah! Technically, it's not a rule. Technically, it's not a rule violation. Besides, I can't pass up on... on a, uh, pass up an opportunity to make the killing game more exciting! Right? Right? I was thinking the same thing! This fun and vicious killing game is the only thing on my mind! And another thing. With that said, you're not gonna try to use that motive? You really don't get it. <laughs> you don't get it. A crazy motive like this shouldn't be used in, should be used in a more dramatic way, no? That's why I've been... been thinking. That's what I've been thinking, so I tried coming up with ways to use it. Well, you know. And finally came up with an idea, so this is my proposal! Certain someone is planning something interesting, so if we use the motive there, <laughs> then I think that would really spice up the game. So, are you in? <laughs> you are. You really are an evil bastard. Yeah. Of course, of course, I am the ultimate supreme leader, aren't you know? Let's have more fun. Whoa! What the balls? You look like a zombie. Jesus. I will drag this world into the pits of terror, using my villainous power to commit evil. It sudden fade, to, sudden flash to black. Okay, Jesus. Monica, with theater time. Oh, hey, <laughs> Doc and Marty. Er, no, <laughs> Back to the Future. You, you can trust a dishonest man to be dishonest. It's the honest ones who you gotta watch out for. Because you can never predict when they're going to do something incredibly stupid. It's honestly easy to go through life without telling a single lie. Which means honest people are just lazy jerks who'd rather coast through life. 
By the way, the recent trend of encouraging honesty is actually a lie. You see, it's better for liars if there are more honest people in the world to deceive. They've been lying about that, about that trend so there can be more stupid honest people. But that might be a lie too. <laughs> Philosophy. Okay then. Well, down to the next day. See if Mew's been murdered or something. Oh, nobody there today. Actually, um, this is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 8 a.m. Where did he run off to? Probably with some other woman, I bet. But that's fine. As long as he's happy, I'm fine with Don't it. Worry. Maybe not today, but someday, I'm gonna be happy too. Oh, oh. Right <laughs> darling, what's the matter? Mana funny. I finally remember. Oh. I need you, Mana funny. I... Too convenient, huh? I know. I know I'll hurt you more by saying stuff like that. <laughs> I'm sorry for everything. Goodbye. Hey. Wait, you silly man. Yeah. Huh? My goodness, your body is coming apart. You really can't do anything on your own. Hey. Alright, come here. I'll sew you back. Back up. <laughs> Th thank you, Monofani. Thank you. <laughs> Why are you crying? It's not like you... <laughs> oh, wow. Is that supposed to be the end of their saga? What the hell kind of ending was that? That was that was way too long for an announcement. Well, oh well, I need to go to the dining hall. Well, let's hurry on out of here then. Nobody, nobody. Okay, fine by me. Now then, uh, there seems to be a person back here as well as a person over by the by the uh, manual cover place or the, the switch plant hey kaido how's it going um good morning kaido oh. oh hey bro perfect timing can i get your opinion on something uh -huh. huh for what i mean well it's about our training like i said before my training method is based on a systematic method but i feel like something's missing uh, um y you do we've only done sit-ups and push-ups so far That's right even if I don't need it myself, in order for you two to grow. I feel like we should need to add something like martial arts or something kind of mental train some kind of mental training. Ah. Now that you mention it, I do have a practice sword. Oh, oh good idea! Practicing with those will be a great training exercise. Maki's just gonna kick all your asses. Alright, let's not wait wait till nighttime. We're gonna do this special training as soon as possible. Should I have to go with Kaida? Hell yes. Alright, I'll got I got it. All right. It's decided. I'll bring Maki Roll, so let's meet up at the usual place. First, breakfast. I'll see you there. Nice and nice. Now then. Uh, I see you back there. It's in Ganta, perhaps. Maybe he's like contemplating about like escaping. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's Ganta. Hey, Ganta. You're gonna be alright, bud. I would assume that's the... That's like the graffiti rock? Hey, Gonza. Hey! Hey, come out! Where are you hiding? Come talk to Gonza! Gonza! Gonza? What's wrong? Are you looking for someone? Oh! Oh, good morning, Suichi! Gonza not looking for person. Gonza looking for a tiny bug! Hmm. Ah, yes. I was wondering about that. Have you found any? Hmm. Well, Gonza can, no can't find him. Gonza's... Seen lots of times, so Gonza pretty sure and not mistaken. Hmm. I see. What? But Gonza happy tells Su Suichi love bugs so much. Huh? Huh? Uh, um, I don't like bugs that much. Huh? What? You hate bugs, Suichi? Wait. No, no, I love them, Gonza. I said that before, right? You're right. Oh yeah, you good. Oh yeah, you good person. So of course you like bugs. Allow Gonza. All right, Gonza, go find tiny bug for Suichi. No matter what it takes. Look forward to it. It's no use. Yeah, I still get chills thinking about the insect meeting greet. Well, <laughs> anyway, let's get back to the dining hall. This, for real, this time. Do 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 do. 
And in we go. Just go through the building to see if we can talk to other any people in the halls. Oh, uh, looks like Himiko's over here. Hello. Hey, Himiko. Oh. Good morning, Himiko. Yeah. Yeah, it's you, Suichi. This morning has been ve was very unfortunate. Huh? Hmm. Did something happen? Mm. What are you saying? The Monocub Monocub's drama ended. Yeah. Monotaro awakened to love. It looks like a new development, but then it was over the next day. So you're really looking forward to that, huh? Okay. I thought maybe it was gonna turn out that Monofani had a baby in her stomach. Uh oh. How about that? It didn't. It actually be kind of the be the child of one of the dead mono cubs. <sighs> Those are the kind of melodramatic, melodramatic twists and turns I expected. So you really enjoy sitcoms, huh? But uh, I'm not sure it would be much fun watching melodrama a melodrama like that. Yeah? No, no. This is typical daytime soap opera stuff. Next you'll burn the roast, then bang, zoom. What? What the hell is she talking You're about? Right. Well, if it's already over, that's that. That's right. Showing away my regrets and moving forward. That's my new way of life. Himiko, do you know a lot about so soap operas? <laughs> uh, never change. All right then, dining hall time. I'm gonna assume Kokichi's gonna gonna be in there creating creating a stink for everybody, or maybe he's just hiding. Nope, nope, Kokichi's not here. Um, hmm. Mew. Mm hmm. Where are Mew and Kokichi? Jeez. I understand why Kokichi's gone, but where's Mew? Hmm. She's probably still missing with that computer on the fourth floor. That's right. Or she might be in her lab working on another invention. I saw many half-built machines in her lab when she can't perform maintenance on me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure. Hmm. Well, messing with machines and computers is about all she's good for. What could she be up to? You alright there, Gonta? Huh? Gonta, what's wrong? Um... Gonta's still thinking. Since yesterday, how can Gonta be useful? What? But Gonta can no think that of anything. So frustrating! Come on, man. Okay, but you don't need to make such a scary face. Besides, it's just not you. There's something we gotta think about. That's right. We all should be thinking about what we, what we can do to survive. Mm. Use your self-destruct system to save us. That's how ro robots make themselves useful. Hey! Even though that is true, at least, at least hesitate before you blurt out something like that. But you admit it. You admit it. Mm, I'm gonna start that over again. But you admit, admit it's true, huh? I guess. I'll keep thinking about it too. If I come up with a good idea, I'll tell you guys. All right. Now that that's settled, let's eat. We don't need it. Eat well. You you can't think well. Sorry, readjusting my chair. Finish eating breakfast and then return to our rooms. We need to get through. We need to get our thoughts together. We are completely unaware of the unspeakable malice was brewing. Oh no. No, Kukichi's gonna murder somebody. <laughs> I, have tr I have training with Kaido now. You said the usual spot. I'll meet him in the courtyard. Alright. Special event time. Hey. Got it. Sorry, take a drink. Oh, there you are, bro. Hello. I was surprised when you mentioned a special kind of training. <laughs> well, you brought that thing with you. We need for our new training, right? What? New training? Shuichi. Pass it here. Okay. Here, but is it usable? Hmm. Is that is this a practice sword? Why would you have something like this? Uh. Huh? Why are you making such a disgusted face, Maki Roll? Maki Roll? Ah, that's right, Maki! <sighs> so you didn't tell Kaido yet, huh? Yeah. When I first started working, I botched the mission with a katana. Since then, I decided not to use swords. I see. Oh, I see. Well, Don't make that face. I, I know you didn't mean it by any harm by it. But you know. No, it's my fault for making you remember such, such thing that makes you feel bad. All right. All right, tell me about it now. I'll listen to all of it. What? Huh? Listen up. It's difficult to talk to people about your failures. I get it. 
But didn't I tell you? Bakirol. Being able to share your burdens with others, that's how you get stronger. Don't hold on to your past forever. You gotta confront it to move on. And I'm gonna help you with that. I don't understand. What are you saying? You're ridiculous. Anyway, that failure doesn't bother me anymore. Okay, sure. But I don't mind talking about it. Just be warned, it is a boring story. She actually doesn't want to talk about it. She just she's just being Sunday about it. Before before she would just she would have just told me to mind my own business. Maki has changed a lot since then. Well, well plan when planning when planning an assassination, you need to gather a de detailed information first. You need to know the target, their schedule, movements, friends, and acquaintances. For this particular target, you normally work late into the night. But when I looked further into his schedule, I found he had he was into some nerdy hobbies. Mm -hmm. Nerdy hobbies? You mean like Samugi is? That's right. Yeah, yeah, just like her. He especially liked cosplay. Huh? Cosplay? Never in a million years would I imagine hearing cosplay coming from Maki's mouth. I told you. So, while I, I, while I, while I absorbed my pr target's private life, I thought of a good plan to get close to him while concealing my weapon. Uh, um... How? Okay. A prop carrying case. Huh? What's that? How's that any different from a normal carrying case? Well... Samugi would know. It's a specially made carrying case for cosplay props. It can, be accom it can accommodate large props so it's convenient to carry around. So I placed a katana in that carrying case and made my move. How annoying. But then the people around thought I was a cosplayer. Something odd happened. Huh? What happened? <sighs> On that day, they were they were holding a cosplay event in the same hall the target had gone to. Unfortunately, I had this I had the same height and hairstyle as the popular character who also carried a katana. Uh oh. Aw, oh, younger Maki. Aw, oh, younger Maki's <laughs> he's so flustered. So I got dragged into a hall by a group of excited people with expensive cameras. They almost saw the weapons I had in my case. If they had, they would have found out my katana was actually a real. Sounds like a close call. Did you actually get did you actually get through it? <laughs> I was wondering what this serious failure was of yours was gonna be. Okay. Yeah, honestly, it was much cuter than I expected. <sighs> I was expecting. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. For me it was very serious. Ugh. That's right. I always have a hard time getting like kneeling down Maki's voice. I was branded a failure because of that, of something so stupid. If they if they didn't donate to the orphanage anymore, then it would have been the end. Ah, yeah, uh, you're right. My bad. Yeah, you're right. That's not funny. I'm really sorry for laughing. Sorry. Yes, me too. Sorry for laughing, Maki. Yeah, <laughs> she's surprised. Jeez. You don't need to apologize. I'm not mad. Maki turned her head to the side with a pout. <laughs> that expression on her face, opening up to us, opening up to, up to us with her stories. Never could have imagined this. My impression of her has changed yet again. There's still so much I don't know about Kai, Maki or, and Kaito. Hell, Maki is right. We can learn more about each other after we get out. No, we will become friends. We will definitely get out of here. After a bout of training with the sword, I returned to my room. Having any bumps on your legs, Suichi? I had a had a had a fake sword training bout with uh, my friends during a camping trip. He took it got whacked really hard on the on the leg, and it produced a bump. And it's still there. What to do? What what can I do? The only thing I'm good at is solving mysteries, but I can't figure out this academy. I don't have any I don't have any clues, but that's no excuse. <laughs> Free time! Alright then. Let's try to see if we can hang out with Himiko again. Uh, Himiko, maybe it's back in our. Nope, not in our room. Wait, I see somebody. Nope, that's Maki. Uh, maybe she's over at Tenko's room? No, wait, she's over there by, by my room, actually. Alright then. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Nope, not here. Ah, there you are. For that, just gonna go check behind the walls, see if there's any hidden monokumas. Doesn't look like it. Alright then. Hey, Himiko. How's it going? Because I'm a mate. There's one thing I... 
I can do. I'll support. I'll support you with my magic. Should we hang out with Himiko? Yeah. That's fine. Hmm. <laughs> Leave it to me. There's nothing impossible. There's nothing impossible with my magic. But there's a limit on every on even my magical power. Make sure you understand that. <laughs> Don't worry, Himiko. I understand. Spend some time with Himiko. Hey, can we go present? Yes. Uh, what can I give her? Do I still have some of those bird seeds? I wish I had some more of those jelly things. I think that she'd really appreciate it. Yeah, maybe. Why not? <laughs> Just try to. Give her whatever thing. You. Hmm? You must have used a, a fine Himiko a good gift spell. Hmm. Well done. I don't mind you giving me more stuff from now on. <laughs> oh. Mm. Yeah. She looks really bothered by something. Hey. Um. Himiko. Is there something I there's something I wanted to ask you about. Mm? Yeah. My my magic's a trade secret. No. No. That's not it. I was wondering why did you become a magician? Uh, yeah. Um. Ah, sorry. Ah, sorry. A mage. You said you had a master. Did he inspire you? Hmm. hmm. When I saw my master use his magic, I awakened as a mage. Is that all right? Um. Just making sure. But did your master also say he was a mage, not a magician? What are you saying? Huh? My master is known around the world as a legendary mage. Hmm. I see. Yumiko is insisting a mage is probably her. It's probably her master's influence. Okay. The first time I saw my master was on the stage during his magic show. The magic he performed was miraculous. Seeing it triggered the magic power sleeping within me to awaken. But I didn't yet have the skill to control such magic. Mm. Therefore, I studied under my master to control my own magic. Mm. Uh, I see. I'm a mage. Fortunately, it took a few years of training to become a full-fledged mage. Master let me help in his shows as an assistant while I trained. My master taught me the fundamentals of magic because he trained me. People start calling me the ultimate mage. He's actually the ultimate magician, but I probably shouldn't bring that up. How about that? My master learned his magic by sitting around the world, you know. Extreme wind magic, levitation, ext extreme space magic, teleport. Extreme heat meat magic song a person in half and many more. S extreme meat magic? That doesn't sound very magical. Oh, My master made them look all simple, all, all look simple, but they were hard for me to grasp. I want to teach, I want to teach you the basics, but the stars aren't aligned right now, so. Ah, hmm. uh, I see. That's fine. Yeah. So in return, this ultimate mage will answer any question for you. My question? Let me think. <laughs> mm, when maybe when people get sawed in half. Hey, when people get sawed in half, how do you put them back together? No. Yeah, it's with magic, you know, like you activate the cells and. Well, something like that. You probably wouldn't get it. Okay. Don't think. Feel! Hmm. <laughs> Referencing Chia, isn't it? Is that right? But... In any case, I'm sure your master is worried about you right now. And she's probably worried right back. Hmm? Something wrong. Something wrong? Miko's mood changed. You're right. Well, maybe. He might be worried. Hmm. Himiko? What a pain. I'm too tired to talk. I'm going back to my room. Okay. Ah, okay. See you. See you later then. Looks like she wasn't too fond of that of that uh, topic, huh? I watched Himiko walk away and return to my room. Himiko was acting strange for a minute there. I wonder what's wrong. Maybe she she learned to like not trust her master after a while. Hmm. So they have some free time. All right, one more. One more. Let's try seeing if Himi goes around. Ah, she's right in the dormitories. Nice. Do, do, 
do 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 nope. There you are, here we go. Yeah. Did you want to talk to me or something? Hang out with, hang out with Himiko? Yes. I see. Are you bored? You can come with me. I'm tired, but if I don't if I if I don't rest now, I won't make it to tonight. Uh, I guess we're going inside a room. Spend some time relaxing with Himiko, who tried her, who had tired herself out being positive. Aw. You need to pace yourself, Himiko. Alright then, definitely. Do I still have that chair? No, I don't. Farts. Hmm, what did she enjoy? She said she's tired, so maybe some sugar to perk, her, perk herself up? You. You must have used a fine Himiko, a good gift spell, so yes, I was right. Mm. Yeah. I feel as though I'm getting used to this. <laughs> breathing makes me too tired. Huh? Breathing? You need you need to breathe or you'll die, you know? I'm a mate. It's fine. I'll just suck in oxygen with my magic. That's impossible. I have to think of something that will perk her up quick. Hey! Hey, Himiko, can you can you continue the story you were telling me before? What? The story from before? What was it again? Remember. When you became an apprentice, and you ended up on stage with your master. Mm -hmm. Yeah? What's the point of telling you? No. Point? No, that's not... Mm. Well, I guess you can't help it. A mystical mage is right in front of you. Oh, well. That's just how it is. I'll show you how special mages are. And I'll teach you just how many hardships I had to go through. Miko closed her eyes and inhaled a deep breath. Then, she slowly began speaking. I as I traveled the world with my master, I realized something odd. When I was on stage, the audience was cheering for me, not my master. I thought there was no way they'd be cheering for me over my master. Huh? No way. That's right. Of course not. My master is a greater mage that exceeds m even me. But I knew what was really happening. Why? What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Gotta take a drink. You were all sent letters and gifts. Gifts from fans all the time, but... They were all addressed to me. They lied about how great I was, and called me my master old-fashioned. Huh? Huh. Oh, they were terrible. To make a trap like that, I didn't want their praise. Huh? A trap? That's right. That's right, it was a trap. To make me leave my master. Someone trying to t take my master's title of Archmage did something so sneaky. No, I don't think it's something nefarious like that. Nothing that complicated. Perhaps it was a around that time that the apprentice succeeded her master. Miko was the ultimate magician, after all. Mm. But it worked. Uh, um, it worked? Mm. My master got caught in the trap. The curse in the letters affected him and slowly drained him of his powers. People started to notice me more. I was invited to magic shows. Mm. Most of them wanted to make me the headline, not my master. Himiko started, stared at her feet, shoulders shaking. You couldn't tell if she was angry or sad. I don't know. Everyone's stupid. My master's the best mage. That's why I, his pupil, became such a great mage. Why, you? why don't they get that? There's no way I, I'm better than my master. Hmm. Himiko. My voice sounded so unlike me. Unusually sympathetic and consoling. Himiko must have known. She had outgrown her master. But then, and then, my master... Huh? Yes? The story ends here. Huh? Huh? What a pain. I'm tired of talking. I'm close for today. Oh, Himiko. Himiko really enjoyed her master's company. Really, probably doesn't have a lot of self-confidence. And her own magical abilities. Watch Himiko walk, the, walk away and return to my room. One more bout, or is it going to nighttime? Nighttime. All right. <laughs> hmm. Uh, the doorbell. Is it Kaito or Maki looking for me? All right, everybody. I'm actually gonna go on a break real quick, so just so we can get some rest. So yeah, get some. Mm -hmm.
sorry, I was peeking. So yeah, get some, get something to eat, drink, stretch, all that good stuff. See you all in a few minutes. All right then, I'm I'm back. Now let's get the thing on screen now. Boop. Let's, let's figure out who's at our door. I don't think it's Mew. Thought so. Hey, Pooichi. Hey there, Pooichi. Hmm. No. What about Gooichi? Spooichi? <laughs> well, whatever. Pick an, any nickname you want. Huh? M Mew, what are you doing here? Ha, fucking virgin. I figured me and the twins could swing by and pay our virgin ass a visit. Your virgin ass a bit. <laughs> got a boner yet? Oh. Hey. What are you doing here? Ah. What am I doing here? Ah. Cheer up. Th thanks to me, you get to leave this confining place. Huh? We can escape? Booyah! Just come to the computer room on the fourth floor of the academy. But there's no rush. So if you want to rub one out while you're thinking... Oh, you think about me, you got time! <laughs> Man, you better bring the crusty tissues afterward, ugh. Mew, you're absolutely disgusting. Despite what she's saying, what she's saying, she doesn't sound all that serious. But I shouldn't just ignore her. Computer room on the fourth floor. We're gonna get up there and then she's gonna be m murdered. Alright then. We're probably gonna we're probably gonna tell Kaido and Maki about this. Uh, wait, where are they? We shouldn't. Sh uh, come on, Jesus. Hopefully, uh, other people were told told about this. It's just me around here. Nope, wrong way. Hmm. This is mighty suspicious. I think I know what this is about, but... Why is there nobody out and about? And why is, why is Kaito Maki not around? Or did just Mew just go to all the other rooms? And we're all gonna meet him up there. I'm pretty sure she would have said that, though. Ugh, whatever. We'll see when we get there. Do, 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 do. Running and running, running and running. Thing down here? Nope. Okay. Is it gonna switch to the, uh, the creepy music up here again? Nope. 
it's the same nighttime theme. Oop. Wrong way. This is Keo's lab, Angie's lab is over here. The broken TVs, I don't know why the hell. Oh. Hey, Himiko. Hmm. Hmm? Himiko? What? Oh, hello, Suichi. Did Mew tell you to meet up too? Okay. Yeah, so everyone got the same message? Mm. She said we'd be able to get out of here, but this smells all smells really all smells really fishy. My magical instincts are telling me not to get involved with Mew. But but she might have found him the only means of escape. I think we should go, just in case. You're right. I guess you're right. Huh? Umiko, what's wrong? No. I just remembered how Tenka would would usually grab my hand and pull me along at times like this. Uh Okay. Uh, yeah. You can picture Te Tenko t taking her hand and saying, I'll protect you. Mm. All right, then. All right, I'll learn from Tenko and move forward. Well, then, Suichi, I'll go on ahead. You should head over soon, too. I see. There's nobody around here, too. Let me get to the computer room. <laughs> VR visors. I own Kokichi's here, the bitch. Hmm. As I expected, everyone's brought here. Ha, fucking virgin! Don't act all depressed, cause you'd get to spend my, any alone time with me. Huh? Do I look depressed to you? Actually, there's no way, way we wouldn't show up when you, when we told, when we were told there was a chance to escape. Hmm. But I think it's it. it and I still think it smells fishy. <laughs> really? Doesn't it smell... Doesn't it smell like something fun is gonna happen instead? Oh, when, when, with your definition of fun. Jeez. You always seem to show up for stuff like this. I've got you figured out. Thanks. Thanks! The key to a mutual friendship is understanding each other. All right already. So, what's this way for getting out of here? Hmm... Is there really a way? Sure. The doy, of course there is. Geniuses, genius, geniuses like me never make mistakes. Hey. So how are we gonna escape? Out of my way! We're going to another world, a world with no killing games and no Madakuma. Huh? Another world? What? Oh, you wanna know, huh? Do ya? <laughs> I'll tell you if you you bow to me on your knees now. Huh? Why? <laughs> When Suishi and Kaede bowed to me, it kind of woke something in me. Fuck all y'all! Now hurry up and fuck me. The fuck I'm bowing to me, you masochistic shits. Mm hmm? Hmm, shouldn't you be the one bowing down to us? What? Right now. You, you want us to listen, right? Then get down on your knees and beg like a dog. Why? What the hell? Is, is that weird? You get it? Everyone's wasting their precious time on a worthless piece of trash like you. He's, he's got her wrapped around her little finger. His little finger. Better bow down and peg. Come on, hurry. Um, alrighty. Okay, then, everyone, let's go! No, it's actually gonna show her bowing down. <laughs> What's with this hyper realistic? <laughs> Our <Talk> style. <laughs> Look at Kimo's face. <laughs> that looks like something like, um, either Fist of the North Star or. or Kind of Jojo-esque. Got a mushroom in your head, Mew. Hmm. I actually feel sorry for her. <gasps> hey, hey, let's at least hear her out. See? Did you hear that, Mew? Good for you! You get it? How long are you gonna be depressed for, you so? <laughs> you sow. Hurry up and let it you squid breath. <laughs> yes, sir! Please forgive um, me. so when I said another world, I was talking about this big-ass computer. Huh? What? This! Um. There's this device connected to the computer that you put your head- you put on your head. It uploads your consciousness so you can- so you can go to a world created by a computer program. What? A world computer- created by a computer program? What does that sound like? Got it. Oh, got to understand. Exist- ex exit in this computer box, so we gotta break it open and go in! <laughs> No, no! If you try to force it your way in, you'll just destroy it! Mm. You mean this virtual reality, right? 
um... It's more than just virtual reality. It's a virtual world. It's, well, technically, reality is a higher plane than just world. But whatever, semantics. Because your consciousness will be able to go to move around as if you're in the real world. Huh? Ah, it's... It's the Matrix. I saw a movie about that sort of thing on a TV while I was little. That being said. All right, now let's go. Huh? Go? Huh? Go? Like to the virtual world? Yeah. yeah let's all go together. I don't wanna. No way. <laughs> what? Why? You promised that we'd all come come at the same time. I didn't promise you anything. What are you talking about? Um. Just in case, I should ask a question. What's going to happen to our consciousness when we're inside the computer? Right? So, oh, so we just use avatars as our new bodies to link our consciousness to the virtual world. Why? How do you know this? <laughs> you told me already. I helped her prepare our trip to the virtual world. I brought along, I brought all the seats here. In exchange, I made her tell me the reason. Uh, um... So, so, that's what the apology was. Uh, um, you guys think, you guys talking about what's this, what are you guys talking about? What's this avatar? Which means? They're characters that will represent us while we're in the virtual world. Ah. In other words, in other words, this computer will transfer our consciousness from our bodies and shove them into avatars inside the, inside the virtual world and then... I fucking rule! We'll have new bodies in the new world, a world without murder and Monokuma. Uh, um... But what happens to our real bodies? Hmm. Our bodies will basically be asleep for the duration. In that sense, it'll be like a dream. Yeah. Mm -mm. Uh, wrong text box. All right, let's go. No. Like I said, we're not going. It's definitely dangerous. Ah! Shut the fuck up, donkey li lips. I'm telling you, it's not fucking dangerous. I don't wanna. Saying that makes it sound even more dangerous. <laughs> What the? Am I... Am I really that untrustworthy? Listen up! Well then, you'll be relieved to know that I... I didn't... I didn't even... E that I didn't even create this virtual world. Someone else made it, apparently. What? Someone else? Let me guess. Let's go down the line. So, an avatar is another body. But I like this one. This body made my soul, and my soul made this body. Okay. Which means my body and, and soul together make me who I am. Separating them is outrageous. Kiba, what do you gotta say? Hmm. This must be remarkable technology if it can upload our consciousness into a computer. But... Do you even have a consciousness? You send off to a virtual world, Keyboy? You're a robot. Your tin head can only mimic a human's emotions, though through a mechanized process. G Gonta, you gonna be all right there, bud. I know this is kind of over your head a little bit. Mm. Gonta, not really understand. We gonna sleep and have same dream? That possible? Kaido, you know. Can you really just separate your, your consciousness from your body like that? We're not just objects, you know? Rocky? Hmm. So, it separates the consciousness, consciousness from the body. If that's possible, then... Nope. No, it's nothing. Tsumugi, you gonna make another Matrix reference? That reminds me! I thought something was different about this room. It had all, the ch all these chairs in here now. They probably brought them in, in since it will be like our bodies are sleeping. That would be uncharacteristically, uncharacteristically thoughtful of you. Then, Kokichi? <laughs> I'm totally down to go to the virtual world. It seems interesting. With a claim like that. Um, hey, Mew, who made the virtual world? What? Oh. <laughs> I thought it glitched out there. That's right! It was me! Uh, yeah, I knew it. Just these two. Daddy! Oh, Daddy, can you really can do anything? Um, huh? Daddy, which one is my... Father! 
Him. He is my daddy. Uh-oh. Please stop. No, I'm not. Let me explain. Now, now then, allow me to explain. I used a certain program as a, as a template to create the virtual world. Oh, I'm sure you did. And that program is the Killing Game Simulator. Killing Game Simulator? Yeah. Well, the, well, with that, I made up my mind. I definitely won't go in there now. Wait! Wait, I said wait, damn you it! Can't. If Monokuma's made it, it's dangerous for sure. I, I pulled an all-nighter investigating it, and I deleted everything dangerous from it. It's definitely safe, I swear! There's no need to worry, it's just a simu simulator, right? No. No, this is this is Monokuma we're talking about. It may not even be a real simulator. Dun, dun, dun. Daddy's right. Hey, whose side are you on? That's wrong. I'm not your daddy. You. How cruel. Why won't why not accept it as your child for now? Incomprehensible. For now, I can't play along. He's he's not even my child. No. You guys are only bitching because you haven't even been to the virtual world yet. But once you go, you'll understand. What's the problem? Seriously, it's so fucking awesome. I know you guys will love it. And then you're gonna fall in love with me and for showing it to you guys. Come with me. So let's dive right in, okay? We'll do it together. But But it's a world that Monokuma created, right? <laughs> fine. If you don't want to dive in, you can just dip the tip. Hey! Oh, a tip of what? By the way. But you just you just pulled an all-nighter adjusting everything right, Mew. So that means it was originally a killing game simulator, but not anymore, yeah? Okay. Yeah, that's right. I rewrote the program to delete all dangerous objects that would be used as weapons. Mommy. That's what a good mommy would do! What? Yeah. Are you, are, what a weird sensation in my chest is this? It feels like to be a mom, uh-oh. Hey, I trust Mew. You should trust in our friends more anyway. Why, Why are you on Mew's side? Uh -uh. I'm not taking her side. It's just like, I have a feeling we'll find something in that world. Something? Hmm. I mean, Monokuma created this world, right? Maybe he laid a bait, laid a bait to lure us in. <laughs> like a super crazy secret hidden... Se secret hidden in that world. Uh, um... A secret? <laughs> well, Monokuma, did you prepare some sort of bait for us? Uh -huh. Oh, bait? Yeah, oh, yeah. oh, bait? Yeah, of course I have. Huh? Really? This is the first time I've heard of it. Okay. Me too! Yeah. Nami's hearing this for the first time. Too. Oh. She accepted him. Yeah. yeah. Like Kukichi said, there's a crazy secret hidden hidden somewhere in the virtual world. It's, it's a sec it's the secret to the out of the outside world. Oh. The secret of the outside world. Yeah. All I can tell you about that about the secret is that if you get your get your hands on it, Yay! you instantly le instantly learn what's happening outside of the academy. Um, uh, hold on, what's happening outside? What are you talking about? It's like he's saying something is going on out there, but that can't be, right? Hmm. Don't you, don't you think it has to? Do you think it has anything to do with those meteorites? <laughs> if you, is your curiosity peak, then you have no choice but to go. Right? Yeah, we want to know, so we'll definitely uh, go. Um... Kokichi, what's gone into you? Did you did you know about this all along? That Monokuma is hiding a secret in the virtual world? Yeah. Don't joke around like that. It's just a hunch. Anyway, we can't ignore it. It's possible we might find info on the outside world. Maybe that's with that info we can even put an end to this killing game. Mm. Huh? We can end killing game. Got it. Then Gonzo will go. Will go. Gonzo will go into a virtual world you place. Can. Wait, you can. It's probably a trap set up by Monokuma. Mon but if, if there's a small chance that we can stop the killing game, we should take it. I heard it. Yes, that's what my inner voice is telling me. Hmm. Are you still talking about that inner voice? We're already sick of all that Atua Listen stuff. Listen closely. As I me as mentioned before, it has nothing to do with Angie's influence. Whenever I'm lost, my inner voice tells me what to do. I've already obeyed that voice. I've always obeyed that voice, and I will continue to do so. You must do it. That's why I'm going to the virtual world. All right. Then I'm going to. Huh? You too, Kaito. Yeah, 
The secret of the outside world stuff worries me, but I want to check this out, world out. Call it a man's curiosity. The idiot's at it again. The idiot's at it again. Shut up! When a man loses it, loses his curiosity, he ages. Curiosity is what make, moves a man. I don't care. You can stop talking now, but I guess you'll be an idiot too. Huh? Ugh, wait, are you going to Maki? What do you mean? Of course, you're coming along, right, Suichi? And don't say no because it's dangerous. We're, we've been in danger for a while now. That's true. My ability is to gather evidence and reveal the truth. So I can't run away from this. You're right. All right, I'll go too. You can't! But why? It's definitely, it's definitely going to be dangerous. It's true. No matter how dangerous it gets, we just have to do it. Mm. Fine, I'll go too. Being left behind will, will just make me worry. Okay. Well then, everyone except ex uh, well then, then everyone except Samugi is going. Stop! Wait, if everyone is gonna go, I will too. <laughs> okay, now everyone's going. Oh. Kokichi, are you planning something? <laughs> of course not! After Kaido punched me, I've become a changed man! <laughs> so, relax and just trust me. That being said... Alright then. Alright, then let's get started before you Kakarosa change your damn minds. Fucking slug! First, each of you get to grab a helmet and plant your asses in one of these seats. I understand. Okay, fine. With Muse instructing, we got into the position on the, around the computer. You see those two ports on the back of the visor? You mean this? That's where you plug in the two cords that connect you to the computer! Ah, these cords. The red cord is for consciousness, and the blue cord is for memory. I could start throwing down some real fancy techno jargon, but you idiots wouldn't get it. All you need to know is those cords will cram your consciousness and memory into the virtual world. Just don't shove them into the wrong hole! And yes, that is what she said. Well... Okay, fine. If she said so. So then, which cords to which ports? Put the red consciousness cord in the right port, and the blue memory cord in the left. Out of curiosity, what happens if you switch the cords? I don't know. I've never done that before. Probably gets all glitchy or something. Oops. I'm maybe pretty sure that's probably gonna vegetable. be like... Maybe you'll body swap with someone. Who knows? Yeah, it's probably gonna be like a, f a part of the investigation, isn't it? The switching of the cords. Well, I guess we'll just have to be careful not to switch the cords then. It's okay. If we just, just, just stay calm, then there won't be any problems. Okay. So I hold my chopstick in my right hand, so calm down, Himiko. After some fiddling around, we were all hooked up to the device. Listen up! Then you just gotta put the helmet on your head. <laughs> Finally, press the button near your temple, near your temple, and you'll be whisked to the way to the virtual world. A paradise more beautiful than the world, than the real world, where the no, there is no murder and no Monokuma. So then, Gonta press button. Avatar person take Gonta to virtual world place. Ah. Oh, for the love of yeah, sure, whatever makes sense to whatever makes sense to you. Hmm. By the way, I tweaked your avatars to make them resemble you guys. In fact, compared to your current looks, they're a major improvement. Oh ho ho ho. Oh dear. Congrats, Himiko. You don't need to play, pay for expensive plastic surgery anymore. Mm. I never wanted plastic surgery. I liked my face. <sighs> I'm still nervous about this. Shut up! Shut up and friggin' do it already, four eyes. Jeez. Alright, everybody. Let's go! We can't ignore a chance to discover clues about the outside world. All right. Okay, let's go. See ya! Have a good time! I place the helmet on my head and after a deep breath, let's turn on the switch. And then... Hm? Cyclops! Hm? <laughs> Welcome to the Neo World Program.
Now, here's the question. In an instant, we were standing in the other world. Yes, we were there. Oh, shit. <laughs> we're 3Ds. Uh, um... <laughs> oh, they're like little chibi things. This is... Hmm. So... This, so this, is the virtual world. It seems like it's com it seems like it's completely different from what we were told. Why? These graphics are really disappointing. How are this supposed to be better than the real world? These avatars are really disappointing too. I wanted to have have the face of a supermodel. Hmm. I thought you liked your face. I still have a robot body. I must admit, I was like, secretly expecting more. So you're, you were hoping for a change, Kibo? You know. I love the little uh, animation things. But it feels weird. I can move this avatar like I can move my body, right? And with this body, I don't have to worry about all that stuff. Huh? What stuff? Ah. Um, uh, no, it's nothing. And you mean your terminal illness? Oh, hey, Maki. All right already. I want to go back. Wait! That was quick. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love the little, like, little musical note. Oh, so this is the virtual world. I see, I see. I see. And this is my avatar. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I get it now. <laughs> Ouch! How rude! What did you do that for? Oh, so that, so that hurts. Oh, well, now that you mention it, I felt genuine pain just now. Wow. It's pretty impressive if you felt pain, then that means our senses are connected. Got a minute? Our senses are connected? <laughs> this place is so great, I come here all the time. It's way better than the real world. Hey! What the heck are you talking about, you fraud? This is to this is totally different from what you said. Plus, this avatar has disappointing graphics. <laughs> Your looks are nothing to write home about. Trust me, you look like a billion times better now. What was that? What? By the way. Anyway, what do you mean their senses are connected? I need an explanation. Um. Huh? Didn't I tell you? <laughs> Ouch. But... It means that this goes way beyond the realm of virtual reality. We actually are connected. Please stop! We get it, just so stop hitting me. Hmm. You can do it, even if you can no can do. If even if they are avatars, I could never hit a person. That's robophobic. Even here, I can't escape your robophobia. <sighs> How are our senses set up? Ah. When your avatar receives any sensory input, electrical signals are sent to your brain. Your brain then interprets these signals as if it's it experienced that sensory input for real. So... So, even if we're not really being punched, the brain senses pain because of the, those signals. Oh, I see. And since it won't leave any bruises, I can hit you all... You can hit all you want! Oh, dear. That's a bully's... What a... That's a bully's twisted logic. Weird! Uh, hey! Why are bodies like this? This Himiko's magic? Uh well, there's a lot of things going on right now, but you don't have to worry, Ganta. Uh, um... So, how exactly are we supposed to find the secret of the outside world? You know... I don't even know where to start looking. That's right. First, we need to learn more about this world. If, is there a map available? Ah. Yeah, I've got a map, but first I gotta give you a quick warning about this what? world. Huh? A warning? You need to be quick... You need quicker on the draw with stuff like that. Ah. I'm plenty quick on the draw. No, but not too quick, because then you can't pull out and talk. Cut it out. Shut up. I wonder what the rules of this place could be. Hey, we can actually physically move in this space. Maki's kind of like searching hey. search around. Hurry up with this conversation. I want to find a secret to the outside world and head back to the real world already. Pretty free movement, but I think it's... Uh, hey, Mew. Um... So, what do you have to tell us, Mew? Sure! Well, it's not that big of a deal, but there is a special rule to this world. Objects here are unbreakable. Huh? Hmm? 
Objects don't break? You know. In the virtual world, there are no rules that govern whether objects can break. So, any object, no matter what it is, can never be broken. For example, if you stretch a rubber band far enough, it'll eventually tear, you know. But here, the rubber band would stop stretching at a certain point and just not tear at all. For the same reason, your avatars can't, can't, can't get injured. You still feel pain, though. See, I told you it's not a big deal. Hey! What are you talking about? There's a really big deal. You gotta tell us stuff like that before! <laughs> Sorry. But that's the only special thing. In every other sense, the physics here are the same. Oh wait, that's right. There are special things about the avatars too. Don't lie! There's still more? Spit it out already! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And what's special about the avatars? Um... To make things fair, everyone's avatar in the world has the same average, same average physical strength. What do you mean? Does that mean there's no discernible difference in our physical abilities? What did you say? So, in this virtual world, I'm just as strong as Ganta? No way! What? What? Ganta weaker? Not only because of Himiko's magic! That's not good! No! If Ganta not strong, Ganta can no protect everyone! It's not my fault, that's just how this world um. is. Ah, uh, are those are those the only things different in the world, Mew? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's everything. By the way. By the way, how do we log out from this world? Ah. Oh yeah, that's right, I need to tell you. If you want to log out, you just need to use that phone over there. Let's pick it up and say our name, and simple enough, that's simple enough for you shitheads. Also, the phone is fixed and can't be removed from that room. Which means you have to use this room to log in and out. Whenever you log in, you'll always appear in this room. Hmm, okay, got it. You get it? You guys better not cheat by logging out alone. You have to find the secret of the of the outside world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it, so where's this map? Ah. The map is posted on the wall outside this room. Follow me. Oh. I love the little, like, chibi aesthetic. It's cute. That being said... Look, there's the map I prepared for you guys. <laughs> Study it and you'll know the virtual world. Know the virtual world. Like Sumugi knows the back of her neck. Why? Huh? What about the back of my neck? How do you know that that spot's sensitive? Okay. Okay, I see. The back of your neck, huh? Weirdo. Hey, why are you so interested in that? You're gross. Because I want you to be interested in me, Kaito. Please. Uh, Smoogie? What should we do? Let's keep that stuff on the about the back of my neck a secret. Don't put it on the internet, okay? If it spreads, people will start trying to play tricks on me during photo shoots. <laughs> Look at that, it's so cute. There's a clock over there. Cool. There are two maps posted here. One big and one small. I'll look at that later. Ah, so this is probably the mansion? This map has mansion written on it. You know! This is the map of the mansion, which is the building where we're in right now. The area in the, is, this area, area is the entrance hall. That room with the phone is the salon. The dining hall, kitchen, and bathroom are also on the first floor. Hmm. There seems to be a secret room there, too. There's no second floor, but I do see a roof area. Hmm. The rooftop, huh? I guess that gives us a good view. Let's go check it out later. Yeah, good idea. But before we do, I should look at that big map as well. It's probably just the outside world. Hmm, looks kind of like Dwarf Fortress with those trees. Looks like the um, like a map of the entire virtual world. Piece of shit! Listen up, shithead! Make sure you remember everything about this world. Uh, um... It looks pretty expensive. It... It even continues past the river. Is there an ellipse here? Showing that it continues? Ah! Yeah, I'll tell you what that sign means later. You'll understand once you actually go there. What could she mean by that? Ah, oh. uh, there's another building here. Sure. Yeah, it's actually it's just a dinky chapel. It was a clutter, clutter of mess in there. Oh. A lot of stuff, huh? 
Maybe the secret of the outside world isn't in there. Oh, I just noticed there are ton there are black lines drawn around the world map. But does but does that mean something? <laughs> How nice of you to notice. Of course it means something. The black line represents a wall. Huh? A wall? Probably like the limits of the world of the program. Oh yeah! So yeah, the virtual wor world is actually surrounded by a huge ass wall. It can't be. Surrounded by a wall? Are we trapped even in this world? You know. No, you're not trapped here. Beyond that wall is the end of the world. Literally. Past that wall, nothing exists. Everything ends there. Means. I see, so that all wall is the end of the world. By the way, Mew, you prepared these maps for yourself. Not Monokuma, right? <laughs> That's right, I prepared the maps, what about it? Mm. No, it's nothing, I just wanted to know. What? There's something off about Mew's response. Hey. We should be focusing on a more important issue hey. right now. Yeah, where's the where's the world? Where in the world is the secret of the outside world is hidden? But it's gotta gotta be pretty hard to find something when we have no clue where what we're looking for. Got a minute? Where do you think you're going? Mm hmm. Hmm. I was gonna go investigate alone. There's a lot of interesting stuff I want to check out. What? Hey, like hell, I'm gonna let you do that. Do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Whatever I want. No way. And why do I need your permission, Kaido? I'm free to do whatever I want. I'm going, no matter what you guys say. Well, it'd be a hassle if someone kept watch over me. Ah. Kept watch? Allow Gonta. Gonta not understand what's going on. Gonta not sure how helpful he can be. But Gonta go can watch Kokichi, so so he not do anything weird. <laughs> Gonta, you're so sweet, but I, but I knew you'd say that. Even without your ridiculous physical strength, as long as you're selfless and courageous. He'd make a terrific bodyguard. Bodyguard? Thank goodness. With you by my side, I'm sure I'll be safe from any trap. Okay then, let's go! Wait! Ugh, wait, Kokichi! It's okay. It's okay. Leave leave it to Gon leave it to Gonta. Gonta's keep an eye on Kokichi. What? The bodyguard? You mean Gonta? Oh yeah. It seems he planned this all along. Jeez. Jeez, he really knows how to manipulate people. Well, whatever. Let's go check out the rooftop. Oh yeah! All right, follow me. If you want to peek up my while well, you're at it, go go for it. Strange clock. Is this muse taste? No, it can't be. This world was originally created by Monokuma. A little man, little hoagie bouncing up and down. Mm, lights. Hmm. It's a pretty big staircase. It's snowing. Hmm. Snow? There's snow here? But the. You ran out way fast. Whoa! It's snow! Look, Marky Roll! It's snow! Look, snow! Ew. Are you a dog? Seems like. <laughs> Is it cold here? Our avatars can feel cold? Sure! Yep, isn't it great? Not only can you feel cold, but you can even feel pain and pleasure too! In fact, you don't even need to go. It's birth control. Oh. <sighs> hey, try to be quiet, please. I feel like the more you talk, the more I dislike you. That's right. How about we start exploring the rooftop? Okay. Yeah, let's do that. It's pretty rudimentary. This looks like a strange room. I should check it inside. Uh, uh um, Seems as though there's some there's there isn't anything in inter interest here. In any case. I rewrote the program to delete any dangerous objects that would be used as a weapon. Well, I don't see anything dangerous to be used as a weapon. Besides, this is a simulator, right? We don't actually die here, right? No. Perhaps we can. Perhaps all the weapons were deleted. The, sh the shelves are empty. Nothing here is a box and some lattice. Rolled up carpet. Rolled up carpet, huh? 
look it does look safe. Hmm. Everybody moved. Now it's a binoculars. Man, looks like you got a lot of experience with binoculars. <laughs> you're obvious you're an obvious peeping Tom. I have a lot of experience with bino binoculars. What does that mean? You can see pretty you can see pretty far with the mountain binoculars. I mean duh, they're binoculars. Feel free to look around then. Yeah, get a good look at everything. Yes, that's the outer limits there. It's the river. We're gonna go along the river for now. Mariah Hills. Hmm? The monoculars can't see past here. Ah. ah, is this where the line of the map was? You know! I told you, it's not a line! Then. Then, what is it? Why do the mon monoculars stop there? Aggressive men are always coming and going, coming too soon. I'll explain it to you when we when we get there, so don't get your panties in a bind. What's he talking about? What could be over there? Hmm. Well, did you manage to examine all the places that caught your eye? Well. Yes, but there are, weren't many points of interest. Uh. Ugh, it's really cold. I don't think it's. I, I didn't think it'd be snowing. Ah. Nice, nice, Imiko. It means if. That means if you trip in your head, it won't hurt! Don't be rude. I'm not the type to trip that often. That's way too cliche of a gag. Snow and a mansion. How ominous. Ah, great job, Killing Game Simulator. But we're not leaving any footprints in it. What's up with that? It's probably programmed like that. It'd be easier to find the culprit from the, foot from the footprints. Yeah, it looks that way, but you don't need to worry about it. It's just a simulation. There's no dangerous items here whatsoever. So let's go outside. We can cross the river and head to the chapel. You know. But how do we cross the river? I don't remember seeing any bridges. Ah! Jeez, you're so fucking stupid. You're appro approaching savant-tard territory. territory. Let's just go over there and so I can explain it to you all idiots at, all at once. Right there, Kibo? Hmm. Kibo? What's wrong? Is something wrong? Well... Well... I was just looking at the wall and I started to think about what Mew said. About nothing existing or beyond that wall. And then I started to think about the wall that surrounds the academy. Oh, oh, no. Never mind. Forget about what I just said. Well then. We should get going. If we're late, Mew will chew us out with some with vulgar profanities. Wouldn't want that now, would we? Sorry, taking a drink. Just run, running round. Bridge, huh? There's no bridge after all. How are we supposed to cross the river now? Just so you know, my magic doesn't work in this world. Well, don't tell me. Do we have to swim? Fine, I won't tell you. Besides, you can't go into the river in this vo huh? virtual world. Then should we use something as a boat? Fucking moron! Jeez, you're not you're not even gonna hot try hiding your stupidity. The river's current's too fast. The boat will get swept away easily. So we need a bridge then, right? Not. I told you, are we? We've already got a bridge. There's a there's a wider river downstream that connects to this one. Next to it, there's a large signboard that says Mirai Hills. Apparently, it was meant for the mansion, but we can make it use it as a makeshift bridge. Well then. So we just need to use you to get that signboard. Yeah, but I'll, I'll ask the masochist to go get it. He'll just love being bossed around. Hey, Puichi! Suichi, go get the signboard. Huh? 
What? Me? Jeez. Yeah, go get the sideboard. Why? Huh? Hmm. Yeah, you're a total masochist. Huh? Aw, everybody's getting up on Suichi. Huh? Wait a minute, do you all think of me? Think about, think that about me? <laughs> just to, just make it, just to go, just to make it special. I want you to, I want you to get while you crawl like a dog. Uh, um... No, I will walk, I will walk, I think I'll walk normally, thank you. Aaron boy as always. This is a signboard that says Mariah Hills. All right. I need to grab this and head back to the others. <laughs> Cute. Piece of shit! Hey, I thought I told you to crawl like a dog! No. You actually thought I'd be on all fours? <laughs> Whatever, quit wasting time and lay the sideboard across the river. Okay. All right then. Sure. See, it fixed perfectly. We have ourselves a bridge now! Hmm? I'm gonna walk all over this shabby looking signboard. It's definitely gonna break. Moron. Your brains must be smaller than your. T I told you, objects don't break in this world. I see. Oh, so even this crappy signboard can be used sturdy as a bridge in this world, huh? Listen up. This signboard is the only bridge we got, so don't fuck it up and let it get washed away. If this signboard gets washed away by the river, we won't have a bridge anymore. Stop it. All right, already. Sheesh, you're so annoying. Oh? Huh? There's a bridge. Oh, thank God, I gave up when I realized I had no way to cross a river. <laughs> Where were you, well, and what were you doing? Um... Oh, I was in Florida, so over there, looking for the secret to the outside world. But unfortunately, I couldn't find it. Well, I wasn't expecting it to be that easy anyway. Right, Gonta? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect, it's more convenient than when we're all together anyway. Mm hmm? Hmm, what do you mean by convenient? <laughs> N nothing, ugh. Whatever, let's just cross the river. Hey, hey! Hurry up and get back over here, guys! It's too late to head back now, okay? Mm. Yeah, that was stressful. But the thing about objects not breaking was true. You know! That's what I've been trying to say! Hey. But. Aren't we just beyond the wavy line draw drawing the map? Ah. You'll find out if you keep going forward. Why don't you? Why don't you check it out? This is disconcerting. Huh? What was that? Oh, it's a screen wrap. What? What was that? Well, what just happened? For a second, it felt like I lost consciousness and everything went bra black. Black. Now I'm here! It's a loading screen. That didn't happen to our bodies, but it happened to this world. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? But... But that is an accurate de description, as if the world itself switched over. You're right! Could it be loading? <laughs> Correct? I mean, uh, er erect. Oh my. Um, you said the right, right word the first time. Said. Anyway, four eyes here is right. As you just saw, you just passed through the map loading point. You know. In, other, in some games, if you go in a building, it'll take a moment for the inside to fully load. Well, the outside is just like that, too, because the virtual world is divided into two large maps. The wavy line represents where the two maps meet. Think of those two maps as if you're in two different rooms. In the same way that you have to go through a door to move through two between two rooms, to move between two maps, you have to pass through the map loading point. And then, is that is that why we can't see past the point on the binoculars on the roof? Ah. Obviously, you can't see what's inside room the one room where where when you're standing inside the other. Oh. Oh, a map loading point. <laughs> How fun! So, not only does your sight get caught off, but sound cuts off too. Ah. Yeah, you can't hear anything at, at all while you're inside the map loading point. So no sound goes through either. All right. So the chapel is over here, right? Well, then I'm going on ahead then. Hey! 
Hey, don't don't just go on ahead. I don't trust you being off on your loan by yourself. I told you. It's because you pay attention to him that you're more more likely to get tricked. Oh, Naki's going after him. Anything up this way? Nope. That's the chapel up there. Mm -hmm. Spot over there. <gasps> so, is this the secret to the outside world? Oh, mana coins. Nope. Let's go in then. Whoa. Well then. This is the chapel. It's a mess, for huh? Yeah, searching this place is going to be pretty hard. Booyah! Now that we've checked out the all-important places in the virtual world, Listen up. let's split up and look for the se look for the secret of the outside world. Ah. Oh, so we're splitting up, huh? You're, that's probably better. Mm -hmm. I wonder what the secret of the outside world could be. Mm -hmm. Monokuma did not give us any much information about it either. Actually. Are we going to be able to find it if we don't know what it is? Hmm. There's no point in asking whether we'll find it or not. We just gotta do it. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Just keep an eye out for anything suspicious. It's bound to turn up. Hmm. Sounds like you don't. You have a difficult, difficult task ahead of us. But I guess we have to see it through. Ah. Uh. Oh yeah. Before we slow it up, I want to ask you something, Mew. Mm -hmm. What are you two whispering Get about? Mind your own business. Quit sticking your pot belly where it doesn't belong. I don't have a pot belly. I definitely don't have a pot belly. But you're not denying that first part. So, we're going to decide how. Who's going to decide how we how we split up? Leave it to me. Just leave it to me. I'll figure out how everyone should split up in a flash. Wait. No, no. Hold up. I'll decide that. I know this world better than any of you, so I'll decide. Oh, are you sure? Kaido, I want you to search the rooftop of the mansion. What? Huh? Why do I gotta go up there? It's freaking cold out there. Hmm. Yeah, there's no way the faint-hearted Kaido can search in the cold. All right. Uh, all right, bring it on. All I gotta do is search the rooftop, right? Kaido and Kokichi really don't seem to get along. Well then. Kokichi, you're in charge of the salon. Okay. Uh oh. We're giving him access to the to the exit point. Hmm. We need three more people to search the mansion. Don't doesn't matter who. What? The plan actually came became pretty sloppy all of a sudden. Oh, I see. Then Gonzo should come with me. We should search the mountains. We can search this, the mansion surroundings, since no one else can can deal with the cold. Mm. Okay, Gonzo come with you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's true, gentlemen. That was always volunteer to do the dirty work. Oh my. So you're gonna use Gonzo again? I've decided I'm going that way too. I have to make sure you're not abusing poor Ganta. All right. Still need one more for one more for the mansion duty. Suichi, come with us. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Is Maki upset because she's all by herself now? Because Ma Maki wanted to be with Kaido. Even if I asked her, I suppose she would just ask me if I wanted to die again. She keep quiet for now. Booyah! All right, everyone. Let's stay, stick with me in this chapel and let us look for the secret. I understand. So. So, Himiko, Maki, Mew, and myself. Understood. All right. Let's go back to the mansion. We gotta find that secret of the outside world. There's glittery stuff all over the Maki place. Roll. Do a good job, Maki Roll. Hey, so. Hey, is Maki Roll mad? Suichi, did you did you do something? Uh, um. I, I don't know. I. Right there, right there, Maki. She's actually mad. Sure is missing in here. There's a mound of books and posters with Christmas decorations. There's, some, there's something Monokuma would do. Leave it to me. Tsuishi, we'll take care of searching the chapel. I'll show you some leaves apart from those household cleaning robots. Uh, okay. Okay, I'll leave the chapel to you, Kibo. Alright then. I might just head back to the oop. Alright! Did we cross the bridge? Okay then, let's head to the mansion together. Huh? 
Whoops, my hand slipped. Ah, ah, what are you doing? Just came here to see you guys off, and my hand accidentally slipped. Don't screw around. And that was obviously on purpose. Um, it wasn't a purpose. It was an accident. Shut up! Just keep talking shit like that. Only can extract ugly oh, bitches. You want to spend the rest of your life surrounded by ugly oh, dumbass? Yeah. That's not even an insult. I'm famous for attracting ugly people. Uh, um. Uh, what? Are, what are you fighting? What are they fighting about? I've met a lot of people up till now, but I never met someone so messed up. Shit! Seriously, that girl is so much trouble. Sorry. Oh, sorry. There was one more person here. But... What are the people in the chapel going to do? Now that they have no way to get across. Huh? Oh, that's right. We can only log out from the salon in the mansion. Um... Well, maybe Mew can fix it later. Let's just get inside the mansion already. That's right. We'll deal with them, with them later. First, we gotta find the secrets of the outside world. Secret outside world. I can't imagine what it could be. All I can do is hope that there means a way out. Yeah, it's gone for good. Can't help but think that some that Mew and Kyokichi are planning something. Okay, everybody, I'm gonna go on one more break, and then yeah. So get something to eat, drink, and all that good stuff, and I'll see you all in a few seconds. Later. Okie dokie, I am back. So, let's get back to it. Let's go searching around this place. Let's see if there's anything in the woods real quick. Doesn't seem to be any sparklies around. Back entrance. In the mansion... Down this way. Rock. Hmm. I love how, like... Enormous like Tsubishi Zahoge is in comparison to his body. Alright then. Hmm. Gonzo and Kaido are gonna check out the mansion's surroundings and rooftop. I'll go I'll go to the salon. So, so the plain pair Sumugi and Suichi go go plainly search the dining hall and kitchen. Sorry. Sorry, Suichi. It's my fault you got plainly got plain paired with me. <laughs> but everybody knows that the plain pair is just plain dangerous. Uh. Okay. Uh, I don't know about that. 
Um. Gonta, go now. Uh, it's surprisingly cold out there, so be careful. You should, you should come back here to warm up. It's okay. Thank you, but Gonta, okay. Gonta, not smart enough to get sick. Come on, man. Someone who isn't smart wouldn't want to wouldn't want to save us, everyone. They'd only think of themselves. Mm. Oh, thank you. Hey. Okay, let's stop for fun chin chat and go back and go back to the look into the secret of the outside world. We don't, but we don't, we don't know what's waiting for us, so we gotta be very careful, okay? Uh, okay. All right, we'll start searching too. All right. Yeah, I want to hurry and find the secret of the outside world so we can go back. I want to go back to my real body. Nah. Well, these avatars aren't that bad, you know. Huh? Huh? These avatars? <laughs> just kidding. It was a joke. I'm just joking. Let me go check out the rooftop. You guys better not slack off. Gonta. Gonta, go now too. Suichi, we should go, we should go too. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Um. So I'll check the dining room, so you, can you, so can, can you please go check the kitchen, Suichi? Leave it to me. Mm. Alright, the kitchen is over there. Uh, what is it? Hmm? Suichi, are you the type of person who admires good craftsmanship? No. Uh, no, not really. I'll investigate the kitchen now. Yeah. Good. The kitchen, huh? Really ornate. I know, we're supposed to be searching for the secret of the outside world. But what is it? An object? Really? Something, something else entirely? Wow. I suppose I should search everywhere. Look for anything suspicious. Searched every nook and cranny in the kitchen, but found nothing. Like hmm. there's like that line in Spaceballs. We ain't found shit. <sighs> Looked everywhere, but I didn't find anything suspicious. Perhaps I missed something. I'll look one more time. But it was a waste of time. I found nothing. Oh. Hmm. It's been a while, but I can't find anything. If I haven't found anything even after all this, I can't be in the kitchen. What should I do now? Search somewhere else? Oh, hey, Sumugi. Suichi! How'd your search go? Mm, sorry. How'd your search go, Su Suichi? No. I didn't find anything. How about you? <gasps> the same. I checked every corner, but I didn't find it. I didn't find a thing. I'm starting to wonder if there is even something actually hidden here. Was Monokuma lying? The way Monokuma was talking certainly was suspicious. <laughs> Well, Monokuma, did you prepare some sort of bait for us? Oh, bait? Yeah, of course I have! <laughs> Is your curiosity peaked? Then you have no choice but to go! Yeah, you, we, we want to know, so we'll definitely go! It was Kokichi who started steering that conversation. But why did you do that? Oh, by the way, there's something I've been, that's been bothering me. That's... Hmm? Something bothering me? Um... Y yeah. It might have been my imagination, but... There was a small window in the dining room, maybe ten minutes ago. I looked through it, and I thought I saw Mew. Huh? You saw Mew? But she should be in the chapel. Yeah. And the bridge fell, so she shouldn't have been able to get over, right? That's why I thought it would be my imagination, but I figured I should say something. Well, shit. Uh, what? what was that? What was that sound? N no. It sounded as something was struck very hard. It came from outside, but... Samuki, let's go look. What was that? Y yeah. Oh boy. If I'm guessing correctly. Hmm. Nothing in the entrance hall. Sounds... Something outside, perhaps? Maybe. Maybe that sound was something falling off the roof? But the person on the roof is... What should we do? For now, let's go check out... Oh, go outside no. and check... Oh, no! Huh? What? What? That was Kibo's voice, right? I think I heard him outside. He sounded close. Why? But Kibo should be in the chapel. Why? 
Anyway, let's go outside. It'll be faster for ourselves to see it for ourselves. Uh, okay. Right. Let me guess. Hey, Gonza. Oh! Oh, Suichi and Samugi! Gonta! Gonta, did you see Kibo around here anywhere? No. No, Gonta not see him? Um... Huh? You didn't, but I heard his voice close by. Then did you... Did, did something fall from the roof? You heard that loud noise, right? Um... Oh, Gonta not hear noise, but Gonta not see anything. Huh? Huh? What could that mean? I thought I heard the voice, sound of Kibo's voice close by. But Gonta didn't say any, see anything. And what about Kaito? You should have heard that from, from the roof. He would have run over right away. What's going on? Hey, hey Suichi, what does this all mean? Some such strange occurrences. All right, my talent is solving mysteries. That's what I'm gonna do. All right. We need to figure out why, why Kibo screamed. Said to the chapel, something might have happened. Um, yeah, you're right. I'm not sure if that's just it's just a chapel. Fine. Suichi. Suichi. Perfect timing. Is there anything over there that can serve as a bridge? What? Huh? Kibo's over there. And what was that shouting I heard earlier? Well. Hey, hey, hey! We should hurry and find something else to replace the bridge with. Right. Yeah. We should be able to make it. We should be able to make it in time. Huh? Make it in time? What do you mean? Hey! What happened? Did you see? What are you guys? Why are you guys making such a scene? Kokichi. Kokichi. Um... I didn't see anyone in the dining room, so I went to go look for you guys. <laughs> that looks like something's in trouble now that. So everyone's in trouble now that Mew dropped the bridge. Kokichi. There is no time for laughter. We need to find a replacement bridge. Ah. Oh, but the bridge is over the here, right here. You know. Huh? What? <laughs> Come on, over here! Alright! Anyway, let's go. But... Oh, well, whoops. Let's just wait and see what happens. How to go yeah, all the way... How to flow um... upriver. See? That sign struck on... Stuck on that boulder. It's the same one that Mew dropped, right? Actually. Does it... Does the world wrap around? Oh, yeah! You're right. It got swept all the way up... All the, all the way here. Allow Gonta. Leave it to Gonta. Gonta will need, just need to carry signboard. All right. Now that that's out with, let's head back to everywhere everyone else is. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Are they back yet? Hey. Oh, there they are. Um. So, Gun so Gonta just put me put board over river, but board is so thin. Will it be okay? What if board breaks it this you time? Get it? It may be thin, but it's made of sturdy wood, so you can hurry up and put the bridge down. Got it. Okay, got it. What happened? What's wrong? Did something happen over there? Well, I'll explain later. But we need to log out right now. Huh? Log out. Oh? Huh? Where's Mew? <laughs> so, something happened to her. Huh? What do you mean? Well... We're not sure, but her avatar isn't moving. Maybe something happened in the real world that's preventing her from moving it. Hmm. This looks real, real bad, guys. Okay, let's go head to the salon and log out ASAP. Hey. Hey, where's Kaito? Well, that's... Ugh, Kaito, I don't know. Ran here as fast as I could. I didn't check the roof. What? You didn't even bother going to the roof to get him? You're colder than I thought. Huh? huh? Shuichi! Suichi, let's hurry! Oops. Uh, can I go over no. this way? No. Pretty sure Mew's gonna um. be dead. Maki, did you check the rooftop? <sighs> he wasn't there. Huh? He wasn't there? I told you. No one was on the roof. I tried calling for him, but there was no answer. Then... Where did he go? What's the point? He probably logged out by himself. First by himself. But don't worry, he's stupid enough to get himself killed. He's, he's stupid enough to get himself killed. But I know he won't really die. 
suppose that's true. I don't have to worry about him. I have to hurry and log out. I have to check on Mew. I can only imagine. Suichi! Hold on, Suichi. We can all only log out one person at a time. Um... Gonta can have turn next. Have next turn. Uh, Gonta, say name and phone, and someone come get him? Hmm. Who cares? Just do it already. Gonta. Um, Gonta Go Gokuhara. Ah. He disappeared, so that's what locking out looks like. Oh. So the avatars disappear when we log out. The Muse avatar is still here and, and unmoving, right? What does that mean? Um. Anyway, let's hurry up and go back. Um. Sumuki Shirogane. It looks like Kaido's gonna be the main the main suspect here because nobody nobody's seen him, nobody's seen his avatar. Oh, Suichi, you can log out before me. I'm sure the detective intuition is kicking in, right? So go on ahead. You little shitbag. See? Let me shy. Go ahead. So you're actually going first. <laughs> I was kidding, but no, seriously, go on ahead. Suichi. No, wait. Now that we're alone, I want to tell you something. Huh? What is it? <laughs> You're really useful. Huh? huh? Hey! So, about how about we stop hanging out with, with well, Kaido and be my friend instead? I think I can be useful too, you know. I can help you save everyone. You want to save everyone, right? I'm... Suichi and Saihara. <laughs> Aw, I got rejected, but I won't give up that easily. When I find someone I like, I can't- I, I do anything to get them to notice me. Even strangle them. Oh, you're gonna be like the- Ah. Oh. Shoot, what was- oh. right, There's a word for this. Where, like, you would- anybody would do- Like, it's a simul- Yandere! He's a Yandere. Ah, yeah. When I opened my eyes, I could only see black. I was locked out. The helmet on my head was blocking my vision. When I realized that, I quickly reached up and grabbed the helmet and pulled it off. When I did, a nauseating sight was waiting for me. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that was the like the least gruesome scene there. Muse, cold dead body. Probably somebody sw probably switched her plugs, didn't they? Live and let the languid world live. Deadly life. Daybreak. The sun had risen while we were inside the virtual world. Where's Kaido? A body has been discovered. Everyone, please report to the computer room. Yeah. Wait, you're already here. Now then. Wow, I can't. I get to bring you the body discovery. This body discovery announcement live. Phew, Phew doing it live is great. Better than beer and, and fucking uh. Huh? Huh? Daddy, have you always been such a potty mouth? Hey, um... I was holding back because you already... We already had one vulgar cast member, but now it's my time to shine. That's nice. Thankfully, I'm adorable, so I can get away with saying all thing, all kinds of crude things. Yay! I finally get to be a foul-mouthed asshole. Yeah! What a vulgar last word! Hey. What's wrong, Monotaro? You're staring blankly at the body. Staring at the body. <laughs> Mommy. We barely heard the announcement as we started we stared at Mew, dumbfounded. We started looking at we started we just stared at Mew's corpse. That's terrible. It's terrible. Why did it end up like this? Why? Mew! Why? <laughs> What's going on? Why was Mew killed? <laughs> Gonta, not understand either. 
and you like this when Gonzo wake up. Why? Hey, what's going on? Why does this why this happen? Yeah. Well, it's obvious a murder happened. Huh? Murder? Weird. What you mean? Did something happen while Gonzo sleep? No. We we weren't asleep, and that wasn't a dream. We we're in the virtual world. Hey, hey where's Kaido? Ah. Oh. That's right, Kaito! Almost as if on cue. Here's footsteps running down the hallway, the sound growing louder until the door bursts open. Hey! hey what was also all this what was this all about? What was that was what was that body discovery and that's What? what? Mew! What the hell is going on here? Ah. You're too late? Okay. All the others finished gasping in terror already. By the way. But anyway. What are you? What were you doing this whole time, Kaido? What? What are you? What were you doing? So... I was taking a nap. Huh? Taking a nap? Um. You weren't sleeping. Gonto was sleeping too. That strange dream. Gonto not understand anything. Um... As I said, that was the virtual world. Mm -hmm. So you logged out by yourself and then took a nap without our permission. You know. I suddenly got logged out. Before I realized it, I was back here. Uh. Um. You were logged out involuntarily. Uh... Okay. Yeah, I didn't know if it was okay to log back in, so I went back to my room and slept. Damn it. And when the body discovery announcement woke me up, I rushed over here. <laughs> hey, Kaito, if you're gonna lie, then you might as well do it better. Don't you think you can make the killing game more exciting with a crappy lie like that? Come on. It's not a lie. I was really sleep. I really was sleeping. Hey. Hold on a minute. We can discuss whether or not that's a lie later. What we need to do right now is begin the investigation. We need to discover who killed Mew. <laughs> you seem ready. Well, well, of course you are. Why? One of our dear friends was killed, so it's time for you to shine. Hmm. Explain how you like Kokichi. The fact is, if we don't find out who the culprit is, we'll all be executed. No. But I won't let that happen. I'll find the culprit so we can f all survive. Um... Even if the culprit is Kaido? Don't screw around. Huh? What? Okay. Now, now, please save your arguments for the class trial. In the meantime... Ta-da! The Monokuma file! With this, you can even investigate it up and use it asshole. Oh. Huh? Even that? Now then. Well then, do your best! I'm certain you guys will make, make this turn events even more entertaining, asshole! Keep firing, assholes! Daddy seems to be really enjoying that dirty word. Mommy! Yeah. Okay, everyone, let's do this. I'll find the culprit this time, no matter what. Hey! Yeah. Why are you being so cheery? What are you being so cheery about? But... Well, what are you sad about? You guys hated her, so not as much as you hate me, but still. Stop it! That's not the issue. Of course, I thought she was loud and annoying, but. I mean. I never wanted her to die. Just wanted all of us to escape together. Yeah. He was certainly brash and spirited, but she wasn't a bad person. Listen closely. Believe me, I had to perform maintenance on my body, so I know, I know, very well. <laughs> oh, look at him. <laughs> I don't want to cry, but I can't. I should have, I should have had Muse install a crying function. Aw, Kibo, you really did care for Mew. Oh. Huh? Won't your tears just cause you a short circuit? No. Not at all. My completely, my body is completely waterproof. <laughs> This isn't a time for that. Ugh, Gonta can no forgive this. Gonta never forgive this. Never forgive culprit either. Gonta, idiot. But Gonta never forgive self. Gonta swear to protect everyone, but Gonta failed to protect Mew. Gonta can no pro could no could protect anyone again. Gonta's failure as gentlemen. Yeah, I'm so I'm so tired of this awful feeling. I have to do something. I can't let this. Yuichi. Suichi, don't carry the burden all by yourself. Huh? huh? Listen up. You're my sidekick, don't forget. Yeah. We're gonna do it together. If we work together, we can solve this. Ah. No way, Jose! What? Wha what? Well, you know. Suichi's the most reliable person in the class trial, you know. Why won't you? Why would we let such an important person work together with a suspect like you? Huh? Suspect? We're saying that if I was a culprit, Suichi would hide that truth to protect me? Don't screw around! Bullshit! Don't underestimate Suichi. Even if I, even even if I was a culprit, he's the type of guy that, that see things through. Hmm. 
But remember Kaede's like class trial? Shut up! He saw us through that, didn't he? I believe in Suichi. Uh, okay. K Kaito? <laughs> you love to believe, don't you, Kaito? You really don't. But that belief can turn against you, especially in the killing game, you know? <sighs> <laughs> I've got no idea what you're talking about. I don't get it at all. Fine. If we're gonna get all worked up over it, then me and Suichi won't team up. But. B but. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's just for now. <laughs> But hearing him say all that, I can't stay quiet. I believe in you. That said, try to get through this on your own. Clear me of suspicion with your own power. <laughs> if you can be cleared. I don't like like this at all. It feels like another one of Kokichi's tricks. Of course, this is Kaido, and we're talking about we're talking about nothing I could ever I say could change his mind. Regardless, there's only one thing I can do. I can't be afraid. I can't get lost now. Now, In order to protect everyone, I have to do something. I have to do something. First, I should check the Monokuma file. Uh, when I wrestle back control, I'll go to the, go to the next... Uh, I'll end up the stream. The victim is the ultimate inventor, Miu Iruma. The body was, was discovered in the computer room on the fourth floor. Approximate time of death is 6.30 a.m. There's no external wounds on her body. Cause of death wasn't, wasn't specified. No external wounds. Killed around 6.30 in the morning. The time of death happened 30 minutes before now. While we were still in the virtual world. Um, Kokichi, what do you want? Ah. What do you want? You don't want to be so wary of me. It's not like I'm going to get in your way, Suichi. Um. It's just, I hate life so much that I tend to suspect others a lot. Kaido said he wasn't, he wouldn't team up with you for this case, but I can't trust those words. So that means... That's why I'm keeping an eye out. Keeping an eye out just in case he tries to bother you. Uh, um... Keeping an eye out? It's true! Don't take it the wrong way, though. I'm not gonna replace Kaido as your partner, okay? Alright! But I'll help you as much as I can. So, where are we? Are you gonna investigate now? What is he up to? Why is he following me? Monokuma to file number four has been added to the truth bullets. Okay, okie dokie everybody. With that, it seems that Mew has been murdered. I would assume the cause of death might be via the plugs being put in the wrong way. Because Mew did say that she might go, go to vegetable status if that happened. Anyway then, everybody, I guess that'll be it for now. It's in the next one, we will conduct the investigation, and then I guess the following stream after that will be the uh, will be the class trial. All right, and with that, I will all see you all in the next one. Later's.